Hello guys, I'm Berka. Welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to create effective instancing system in Solaris and let's start our lesson. Let's create soap node called assets and add a rubber toy unplug shader and uh, set uh, for example red color okay we need match size and uh, we need name attribute because name attribute is a very important thing in Solaris for example scene geo and toy toy is the assets name let's copy entire setup and uh, delete uh, this asset and it peak. We we need to change for example green color, change name, correct name, peak. And one more time, add shader ball. And we, we need a uh, delay shader ball path attribute. We don't need this attribute uh, together in um, name attribute. We need only name attribute and Merge together, everything merge together. Change co color also, of course. We have three assets, but we have only uh, two layers in SimGrab because we forget the uh, shader ball's name. For example, shader ball, and we have profit layer. Let's add the instance node. Connect here. Uh, pin our report and dive inside. Create. Uh, create. Okay, this is our copy, but it's not correct way. You can see we need to create collection. We need to create our assets collection. For example, name and delete this text, and we need to drag and drop here and. So, and um, we have um, we have collection. We we need to use this collection for a, for instance. Okay, for example, here we need to search our asset name asset, and we have correct copy asset copy system. Dive inside. Uh, and um, let's change random to index attribute and we need index at, uh, create our index our custom attribute for example 0 1 and 2 we have three assets enumeration starts from 0 okay because, and we need to create integer attribute attribute adjust integer uh, name is the index uh, and uh, so no random point type is uh, uh, noise. And if you crank, if you crank up and down our ramp, you can see uh, our assets distribution is changing also. And very important and great thing is specific value. And we need three. Uh, slider 0, 1 and 2 because we have three assets and we can control weight slider to distribute individual assets for example it's very powerful way for, for controlling our scattering system okay it's great we can use uh, element size also everything working let's add uh, scatter align tool Okay. And um, this is the when we need to create uh, now our custom density attribute, it attribute I just float and called density visual visualize our uh, noise pattern. It's very small. Let's crank up our noise level, noise element size and Point count method is density and density attribute name the density and our scatter point scattering system is based on the our custom density attribute right now. 
um, we can um, we can tweak some parameter for example this slider um, iteration relaxation uh, point overlap uh, also uncheck for example p scale attribute and create own uh, custom uh, p scale attribute based on uh, noise uh, we have ramp of course we have element size and everything it's very good this is my tree model imported in internet usd model um, this is absolutely the same technique as we know uh, I have a collection for these three models here um, uh, this is my scattering uh, system it's not final uh, final scene is um, final scene is this one it's e exactly same techniques for example I had mountain node density attribute uh, uh, and uh, usual things you know this is absolutely the same technique and um, density by noise for example our custom attribute custom attribute fiscal attribute and and this is the final result and if you like it, this video please subscribe my channel Leave a comment and see you soon. Thanks.